Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Have you ever, uh, if you have taken us, have you ever wondered why you got the score that you got? Uh, if you're like me, then probably you're very angry at yourself uh, for scoring such a low band. Especially when you talk to other candidates, for example, whose, whose band is the same as yours uh, or even higher. But, you know, in terms of speaking skills, there's just, there's a world of difference. So when I took the test three years ago, uh, I think it was in uh, 2019 uh, in the spring. I, I don't remember exactly now. Uh, so I got uh, an eight uh, in my speaking section, which I think that uh, far below my capabilities uh, now and back then as well. So I, I, I think that the, the main two reasons why this happened uh, is firstly, I got sick, uh, which is ironic, by the way, because for two months while preparing for the exam, I, I took very good care of myself. You know, uh, I would eat uh, healthily and I would do sports, but whatever. Uh, it was decreed by Allah and he does whatever he wills. Uh, the reason, the second reason, which is, I think that the primary cause of, of my score which again, yes, it is high, 8.0, uh, but below my expectations, okay? It just didn't live up to my expectations. Is because I followed the advice of my teacher, who at the time was Sandra Shachnoza, they say, uh, who's, who, who teaches, who works at Cambridge. So she basically, by the way, she didn't really teach me anything, okay? <laughs> or I should say, she really didn't teach me anything. Uh, there were other reasons why I joined the, uh, that course. So she basically told me that to improve my speech, I have to uh, increase the speed of my speaking, all right, and the pace. Uh, so I followed this advice because uh, she, Sandra, uh, had a nine full uh, maximum score and she actually got it uh, multiple times. I think at least uh, twice she hit uh, the, the nine. So during the exam, I had an uh, Indian examiner uh, and uh, I think that I answered all the questions fairly well. But then in, in part two, especially, I tried to speed up. All right. Uh, so I spoke fast, unnaturally fast, uh, which now in hindsight, I do think this was the main reason why I couldn't score a nine. OK, uh, because look, you're not asked to speak fast. You're asked to speak naturally at your own speed because some people are naturally slow speakers while others are not. Uh, and so I, I actually took, you know, uh, scoured the, the, the marking criteria and nowhere here do you read, uh, you have to speak fast, by the way. But then again, because she had a nine, I followed her advice. Uh, next time, hopefully, inshallah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. But it does say in band five here, uh, usually maintains flow of speech, but uses repetition, self-correction, and or slow speech to keep going, all right? Uh, so when you're trying to stretch your answer, right, uh, to, to buy yourself some time by speaking slowly, for example, yes. But it's only mentioned in band five. After that, uh, you don't see speed as one of the marking, you know, uh, one of the marking criteria. But anyhow, the advice that I would give to people is just to speak at your normal pace uh, because fluency doesn't mean speaking quickly. It just means that you don't pause uh, looking for the right words. You may pause, for example, uh, looking for ideas because some of the questions are pretty tough. Uh, so it does say here again, it says uh, has it in band eight. OK, this is band eight now speaks fluently with only occasional repetition or self-correction. Hesitation is usually content related and only rarely to search for language. And in band five, uh, it, it says any hesitation is content related. OK, so in band eight, there is some hesitation, but it's usually content related in band nine. It's uh, content related in total. So even in band nine, it's OK to pause for a couple of seconds, you know, to just think up some ideas, but then it should not be to, to find the right word. It should be to find the right idea. Anyway, uh, to cut this story short, I could not get a nine because I spoke unnaturally fast and uh, it prevented me from speaking to the best of my ability. 
uh, and I was sick as well. Mm. This is the general advice, by the way. Some people come to me and they say, how can I improve my speaking? Look, to, to, uh, to give you any sensible uh, recommendation, I first need to speak with you and see what exactly your problem is. Uh, inshallah, we're gonna uh, follow up this series with other videos. Uh, until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.